Hi, I'm John A. Minor, a junior, and I'm a participant in the 2016 AfroPeace and Youth Culture Education Program. I'm extremely excited to be having this opportunity to go to Ghana and learn about the culture and improve my leadership skills. Hello, I'm Angel Murray. I am a parent for Ezra Brown, who will be attending um, the Africa trip going to Ghana next year. I'm excited about the program with Afro Peace because it will give um, Ezra an opportunity to enhance his leadership skills, to meet new people, to see his motherland country, to actually see what's going on in the environment, to, to just grow up and to be proud of his history. I am so excited about this experience for him. He is a junior right now and I'm just ecstatic for the experience. I haven't even gotten the opportunity to go to Africa so for him to be able to go it just represents us as a family and I'm just proud of him and I, I, words cannot explain how proud I am as a mother to see my son growing up and making a difference in the world to help people in need and to stand and be proud of who he is and who he will become as a young man. So I guess I can kind of be your man to answer the questions about this silent auction and about the live auction that's going to be coming up here about 730. I just wanted to say that the minimum bids on the items that are on the tables have been placed roughly about 40 to 50 percent of what one would expect to pay in a gallery or in a retail environment. Um, for most of the cases, for the items on the table, folks, the um, freight, you couldn't cover the cost of the retail framework for that minimum bid. So I hope in that, uh, in that retrospect you can uh, see the values that's on the table. We have a beautiful night here in front of us, and I hope everyone's going to have a great time. There's wine on your table. There's appetizers coming around. So uh, peruse these tables, find an item you like, place a couple bids, and help us uh, reach our fundraising goals here this evening. And um, of course it works, the more you bid, the more we help raise here tonight. So um, if you can't find an item on that table that you like, I, I just don't think you're trying hard enough because there's some uh, crazy, incredible, cool items. Um, if you notice, some of the items are signed, hand signed by you know, some of the sports collectibles and, uh, and such. Those do come with a certificate of authenticity and that's t attached right to the back of the framework, okay? And um, so if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask and the bidding will be open throughout the night. And um, we're going to be having a live auction at about 7.30 or so. So we have the live auction items up here on the table. Plus there is uh, four one-day park hopper passes to Disneyland. There's two lower level tickets to a Kings game next year. Um, there's a night at the uh, two nights at the Harrah's in Tahoe. So it's going to be a fun little live auction we're going to have coming up. So uh, everybody just enjoy the evening. Enjoy the music and the beautiful uh, sunset here. And uh, we'll be back with the program here in a couple minutes, okay? So I hope everyone's having a great night. And we'll be back, to, uh, back with you here soon. Thank you. officially and formally and humbly uh, welcome you uh, to this fundraiser uh, food and wine tasting event. Um, this is our first outing, so please bear with us. We promise next time, wherever we may have fallen short, we will improve and we welcome your feedback and your support by coming out this evening is greatly, greatly appreciated. The Afri Peace Foundation is about 15 years old and is really geared toward promoting U.S.-Africa relations uh, through 
uh, peace and cross-cultural exchanges. And one of our signature programs, actually our signature program, uh, for which partly this fundraiser is to support, is our Youth Peace and Cultural Education Program. This is a program about youth leadership and conflict resolution. Our 10 to 12 graders who have gone on, to this, on this program, uh, moving into our seventh year, we've done several times Ghana, Nigeria, uh, Rwanda, and last year for one month was uh, Ethiopia have benefited tremendously from this exchange. And I invite you to visit the AfriPeace website, afripeace.org, and probably read some of their blogs and some of the videos. And um, one of the things we are aiming at, in fact, very importantly, is to provide the opportunity to more kids, especially those students or participants who can benefit from the program uh, but may not have the resources and could use some help. And so your support this evening is really uh, to a large extent to make it possible so we can provide some scholarship for as many of the students as possible um, to be able to go on the program. Next year is to Ghana in West Africa. The trip itself is a culminating experience. And that means that before they actually go on the program, there are a series of activities and programs that embark upon uh, that is geared or are geared toward youth leadership development. It's about conflict resolution, it's about team building, it's about confidence building, it's about building a self esteem. It is, in many instances, really to help develop the future leaders who will be very sensitive and committed to promoting peace and nonviolence. So ultimately, we are helping to contribute to the development of youth peace ambassadors. And when they go on this trip, they will come back more enlightened, more globally aware, more culturally competent, and probably more appreciative of their own environment so that they can contribute to their families, their communities, and we believe to the world. And so your support is greatly appreciated. But even coming here today and this evening uh, is a testament to that. And so we appreciate you very much. And we hope this will not be your last. We hope you will continue to support us. We hope that you will stay engaged and uh, please make sure we have your contact information so we can keep you posted on the developments and the results of the, uh, of the program and the other programs of AfriPeace Foundation. The work that we do as a nonprofit organization, 501c3, um, tax deductible organization cannot happen were it not for the contributions of members of the board. And um, for this particular evening's occasion, the volunteers that have been working very hard over the past few weeks to try to make it happen, more importantly and particularly, uh, Miss Demaris Canton over there. Let's give her a hand, please. And she's going to say, she's going to come up here a little bit and, uh, and say, make some remarks. Uh, before then, let me recognize members of the Afri Peace Board. Um, Pam Bodner from Chico. Um, Pam, we've been traveling to Africa since uh, 2002 to Uganda and Rwanda and Nigeria and Rwanda again and Ethiopia and Rwanda again, and has been one of the chaperones, uh, one of the teacher guides, uh, working with the kids that have taken them to uh, Rwanda and uh, Ethiopia several times. Uh, so it's a pleasure to have her. And uh, next to her is Charlene Harris, one of the board members as well. Give a hand for Charlene. And uh, helping out over there, Frank Wazir, one of the board members as well. And there are other board, three other board members who unavoidably cannot join us uh, this evening. 
And by the way, um, we have some vacancies on the board come 2016, so we are also interested in getting interested members on the, on the board to help be part of what we're doing. To make this happen, um, as I mentioned, Ms. Demaris Canton, who will speak shortly, uh, would not have been really possible were it not for uh, people that when we were doing this and started gathering folks together and I said, please help make this happen, uh, especially as we try to get more students to participate in this program. And uh, Mr. Julius Austin, over there, Julius. Has been a great trooper and has contributed significantly to this event this evening. Mr. Steve Streeter, uh, here as well. And uh, Miss Najir Arnold, where is she? Where is Najir? She's still talking? Okay, you, you will see a tall, black, beautiful lady, an intelligent, smart lady. That's her, <laughs> Najir Arnold. And um, Mr. Tom Burris, who couldn't join us here today, and, and several other people that have been working with us to try to make this happen. This is what I hope will be uh, the beginning of ultimately to accomplish our, our goal. This is important. And um, um, we hope, please let me know, or any of the folks I've mentioned, including our board members, know any way that any information or questions they may have, we can address as well. Um, hosting us here this evening is Country Day School, and I want to particularly thank them for making it possible for us to use this beautiful uh, plaza, uh, namely Miss Elena Bennett. Where is Elena? Is in somewhere? Uh, quite a great trooper. Uh, Elena went on a trip uh, as a shop, one of the chaperones 2012 to, to Rwanda and has remained even much more engaged. Um, in, in Rwanda, I just returned uh, over the summer from there and plans to go back again next summer. And uh, the jazz group was made possible by a donation from Dr. Crystal Olson, our emeritus professor from Sac State, a former colleague, who went on a similar program for educators with me to Rwanda in 2004, I believe. Pam, that was when we went to Rwanda, Rwanda, 2004, on a Fulbright program for educators. So let's give a hand for Dr. Crystal Austin. So, without much ado, um, the person who really made this evening happen and probably some more, more recognitions um, is Damaris Canton. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. I'd like to first thank you for coming out tonight. That's the first thing. Um, second, I'd like you to get up and spend some money because the silent auction is about to close. And this event and the subsequent events are to make sure that students have an opportunity. Dr. Uwazi does not say how much he's dedicated to this program. Um, I got involved because I want to make sure that students can keep going. But I would also like to thank some folks because I've had some meltdowns in the last few days and some folks have really like stepped up and said, okay, put it together, get it together, we got stuff to do. So to Julius, thank you so very, very, very much for taking my calls at 1230, 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, and for the friends that have come out to help, Miss Brenda, Miss Sheila, um, thank you so much to everyone who's here to help. There is one of our students that will be attending the trip. Jane has been walking around. She's one of the students that will be attending next year. And uh, we will have some raffle tickets too. So if you want to do some raffle prizes, we've got some raffles I'm doing the board now. Sorry, it was a little crazy. I had a little issue this afternoon. Um, but thank you so much. And please spend some money. Please, please spend some money and spend some more money because we take checks, we have a credit card machine. I'll follow you home. <laughs> but definitely, Dr. Uwazi, thank you so much for all your help. To the board members of Afro Peace, thank you so much. Uh, and everybody else, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please spend money. Perhaps if you don't know what to do with your bonus in December, you could sponsor a student. Or you could have your family get together and sponsor a student. 
as Christmas as opposed to spending money on stuff that we won't even know about next year. So if you have some questions about how to spend your money tonight, see me. I'm going to help you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you, Demaris. And I think Mr. Julius Austin may have a few words to, to share. Um, the, the point that uh, Demaris made, I think, is, is worth noting. Um, we, many of us who have been, actually a lot of us have been involved in this project, uh, donate our time, talent, and treasure uh, to provide, provide this wonderful opportunity to uh, our young folks. I, I think it's important. And I think each year I've been able to do it because the testimonies from those students that have gone and are returned uh, convinced me that it is a, a great vision and a great, a great program. So I'd be glad to continue to do that as long as God gives me the strength and, and uh, wisdom to continue to do so. Um, I have no regret at all. Um, and I think uh, the support also but from people like you also I think makes it possible. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised um, to receive one sponsor. Somebody said, this is great. I wish I had the opportunity to do it. Uh, I wish I could get any of my kids to do it, but all grown up now. Uh, but I'll be willing to sponsor um, a, a participant for this program. So I think it's, uh, it's very gratifying and uh, motivating to continue to do this. So, Mr. Julius Austin, uh, partner in this endeavor in every sense of it, uh, I will have to say, make some remarks. Mr. Austin, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Awazi, for allowing me to speak for a moment. I definitely did not expect to. Uh, so I'll keep it short. Um, my fellow class members from the Nehemiah Emergent Leaders Program know that's not a strong suit of mine, <laughs> but I will try tonight. But I, I wanted to just say thank you for all of you for coming out. And those of you who have supported in the past, thank you. Uh, we definitely look forward to those who are looking to support in the future. I got involved with this program because I'm really passionate about uh, young people getting the opportunity to obtain some leadership development. Uh, when you add the conflict resolution piece and an opportunity for them to uh, do some community involvement and also travel overseas, uh, I think it's a no brainer that it's something to support. Um, as Dr. Owazi mentioned, he has had this organization and he's done a wonderful job of taking youth overseas to Africa. Um, but the thing is, this oftentimes is not an opportunity that is allowed to those who are less fortunate. And the reason why we came up with this idea and also some other events that will happen in the future is because we think those who are less fortunate also deserve the opportunity to obtain the exposure and the experiences that uh, the students in the past who have been able to afford it uh, have I've obtained. So keep that in mind when you uh, think about whether or not you would like to support this organization tonight and going forward and know that it's, it's, it's important for all of us to try to give back. And those are my words. Thank you. There's someone coming around. Raffle tickets are a dollar a piece, $20 for an arm's length. So get the 20s out, everybody. Uh, the, I think uh, um, this evening's event, the, the auction, um, is um, being led by. Well, that tells us time to go into the auction. So. Pacific Auction Company, uh, CJ Bradley will lead us, and we're very grateful for the support we have received from them. CJ. Pick it up. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. All right. That was pretty good timing there. It's kind of uh, right on the money. But um, yeah, my name is CJ Brantley, and I'm here tonight to run the auction and uh, help represent uh, our fundraising here this evening. And what we have in a live auction, we have 10 items tonight 
What I'm going to do is, is we're going to sell a couple items. I'm going to offer a couple items, and we're going to help raise some money here this evening. So $50 value right there. Now 100. I got 90 bid now. One, 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 one hundred dollar bid one there. 90 bid to one, and now one, one, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred. All in, all done. Here we go. 90 bucks there. 100 dollars, and now bid to one. Now 100 dollar bid one, ma'am. It's only one piece of paper when you put it on the check. You know that, right? Would you bid 100? And now, but don't forget where your money's going now, tonight. If I'm getting this correct, they were made by some of the survivors of the genocide. Yeah, handmade by some of the survivors of the genocide. And this is just an original piece of art. It's in a beautiful frame. And if anybody knows anything about retail framing, it's just extremely co costly. So um, if you have any questions about the piece, uh, Chiaya will know it uh, like the back of her hand. And just a beautiful piece of oil painting here, beautiful artwork. If you're gonna see this in a gallery in the city, you may see it with upwards of a price tag anywhere from $900 to $1,200, depending on the gallery. Uh, just a beautiful piece here. And it's a roughly about a thousand dollar value. So here we go, and we're gonna open it up and, and offer it here. And now we'll cut the value in half. But anybody bid five hundred? And down to five hundred dollar to go. Bid it to five there. Five hundred. Here we go. And down to five hundred dollar down for five 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 to five. Now it to five there. Did you five where five hundred? Hello, my name is Azia Arnold, and I'm the executive director for Profiles Unlimited Educational Foundation. Now it's a five hundred one c three nonprofit organization. We've been in Sacramento since 1995, working in the community. I've worked in the prisons with gang members and Crips and the Bloods and the Nortes. I've also worked uh, with uh, Calvary Christian Center's Overcomers program, did anger management programs. I myself right now is a psychological assistant. That means that I'm a junior psychologist. I'm learning, working on my PhD, working on my dissertation. And when that's complete, I will be a, a, a psychologist. Right now, I'm working in the community with Profiles Unlimited, as well as Africa Peace. We're collaboratives. We work together for our youth. Now, with Profiles, we do a lot of training, personal career development, helping our youth to prepare themselves for the future, get jobs, build their self-esteem, as well as mentoring program, which is called Grow Your Own. And in addition to that, Profile has another program called Feed My Sheep. Now, Feed My Sheep is where we get money from our uh, businesses with food and we go out and actually feed the homeless uh, youth that are in the street, the homeless families and the homeless vets. And that's very rewarding uh, work to do that because they very much need it and they very much uh, in need to be taken care of by the community. But right now we're working with Africa Peace and what we're doing with Africa Peace, and we've been doing this since 1999 when they sent the first students into Ghana. I went in 2001 and every year since then we've been taking over students between 15 to 20 to 25. I've taken 25 with me, five um, high school, I mean 20 high school and five college students. We stayed over there a month in Ghana, traveled throughout the country, went to the door of no return, turned to the dungeons. It was exceptional work. You never ever forget Africa. And so right now we're trying to send another group of students over. So we really need the help of our community because most of the children that live in these communities are mothers that, single, that are single parents. And they have boys and they have girls and they've never even been out of Sacramento. But we want to give them that opportunity where they can go across the Atlantic into Ghana, meet the Ashante warriors, look at the history, go back over the history, find out what tribe they belong to. It gives them a self of international relations as well as it builds self-esteem and confidence within that student. And we cry about our students are just getting in trouble, but here we have a program that is offering an opportunity of a lifetime. There are grown people that would love to be in these children's spot, but we have the children and we have an opportunity to help them go there. So we need your help. Africa Peace and Profiles Unlimited, if you work with us, we can work with the community and send our children over there. So they're the future and they're gonna come back and help us to build our communities. So, you know, help us to do the work that needs to be done to empower our youth. Hello, my name is Angel Murray, and I am now the Director of Education for Profiles Unlimited. I am creating and developing their curriculum for African American students. I am blessed to be a part of that organization to use my creativity to show them how children should learn and also I'm creating and developing my own analytical tool to enhance the curriculum as well. I'm excited about what 
you know, the doors that's being opened. I'm excited about children learning. I'm excited to make a difference in this world. Not only do I want to make a difference, but I want to be the difference. If you want to contact me, my phone number is area code 916-230-1778. The website is Angel Murray, that's A-N-G-E-L-L-E-M-U-R-R-Y at profilesunlimited.org. See you soon.